Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with another version of my Stars and Strikes. Today we are talking about blushes. Only blushes. Because I have a ton of blushes to go over. I've already swatched a lot of them. Let's do this. Okay, let's start. So I'm going to start off with the one tart blush that I have. I unhauled a whole bunch of these, but I really like this one. This one is called Ecstatic. This is one of my stars for sure. It is this first one up here. And that's right next to Luminoso actually by Milani, which is number two. So those are kind of like my peachiest shades and they're pretty natural. So that's Luminoso and that's ecstatic. I really like both of those. I find that these peachy shades do really nice on me when I want a more natural flush of color in the summertime and I thoroughly enjoy both of these, these first two right there. I just think they're very, very pretty. Then we've got a Becca. I love Becca. You guys know I love their cheek highlighters. I also really love their blushes. This one is in Snapdragon. It's pink with gold undertones and at first I thought it was going to be a dupe for another one but it really isn't. So that's that right there. And it's a lot pinker with a gold undertone than this one right here, which is Hot Mama by The Balm. So this one is Hot Mama, and Hot Mama is right here, this one. right. So Snapdragon and Hot Mama. I thought those might be closer, because this also has a ton of gold undertone, but it is not. However, it is very close to the Rosé Spritz color in here. So this is like impossible to show you. But this Rosé Spritz color also has a lot of gold undertone. Hot Mama, this is Rosé Spritz. So you can see they both have a gold undertone with pretty much the same kind of like base color. If you don't want to go for this entire Jaclyn Hill face palette, which I don't think you can get anymore anyway, but you really like that Rosé Spritz color, then Hot Mama by The Balm is a really, really great alternative almost the same exact color and I do really like that. Again, a great one for the summer. In Stain Blushes by The Balm. I love The Balm's blushes in general. This one is in Argyle and Argyle is this pink one right here. It's gorgeous. I don't own any other like it because it's not a color that I really particularly love on me. This is Pinstripe by The Balm and that is this one right here. It is gorgeous. It's definitely like a cooler wintry color for me, but uh, I love it. And I know it's dark, but this is a heavy swatch. You can definitely sheer that out and it's beautiful. I also have Houndstooth. Houndstooth is another favorite of mine. These are a stain, so they go on your face and they really don't move. That's that right there. It is stunning, especially on darker skin, skin tones. I think these would look phenomenal but I'm letting you know right now, I'm not that dark and I can absolutely still make it work. This one scares me, but it's gorgeous. So I bought it anyway. This is Nightingale by Becca. And it is this one right here, which is like a Merlot reddish purplish pretty, like on a dark skin tone, a deep skin tone, this would look so, so pretty. I use this mainly for eyeshadow. I really can't use this on my cheeks, but as an eyeshadow, like the formula and the color on this is just so, so good. But I can't, I can't even be mad at it, but it can be difficult to blend out on your cheeks. So you gotta be careful because it's just such a dark color. It really is not suited for my skin tone, but I couldn't not mention it because it's so gorgeous and the formulation on these are so stunning that if you do have a deeper skin tone, it's going to look amazing on you. Now, a Becca blush that does work for me is this one and this one is in Flower Child. I love this one. That is right down here. This one has almost the same kind of look as like a Rosé Spritz and Hot Mama, but with a little bit less gold in it. Spellbound by Makeup Geek. I love this and I just have the pan of it. That's this last one all the way down here, which is more cool tone, but not quite like Argyle level cool tone. And it's beautiful. This one looks great really lightly put on the cheeks. I think it's beautiful. I don't have my Stila convertible color anymore. I panned that last year, but it is absolutely a favorite for me. I loved the formula on that. It was really easy to use, really easy to wear. And all I did for that was use a stipple brush and it looked flawless every single time. 
A couple other cream products that I have are a Bite Beauty Multi Stick and a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. This one is in between the sheets. I was panning this before I started using Frat Boy. So this is between the sheets and it is gorgeous. I also just made myself a giant amount of pan. It was very thin, thinner than I thought. I just packed it flat so that I could get my stubble brush in there again. This is a Bite Beauty Multi Stick. This one is in Gelato. Now this is a very cool tone, grayish color but this one sheared out again looks so pretty i'm gonna give you a heavy swatch and then i'll blend it out so you can see it so this is a heavy swatch very cool toned grayish purple but you can rub this in and blend it out a little bit and then stipple that across your cheeks and it's beautiful again if you had a darker skin tone this would look really pretty as well but it definitely works for me i can use this on my eyes i can use this on my lips i can use it on my cheeks and i just think it's a gorgeous color so those are my creams that i really like but that does not mean that i don't have a couple of strikes i do so let's get into those. First up are a couple that I have depotted here. These are my NYX ones. This one is Ethereal Pinched, which is like one of their classics. It's got like a goldy shimmer to it as well. And then this one is in Dusty Rose. I actually don't mind Dusty Rose. Um, I don't mind the colors on these. I just don't particularly think that their quality is the best. And I mean, they blend okay. They swatch like all right-ish. They're, they're not horrible. I just have plenty of other blushes that I go to before these three. This one's a little bit too bubblegummy for me. This one is just a little bit dry. It doesn't pick up the way I want it to. Dusty Rose really is my favorite. And then I have two more that are unfortunate, but these are the Kat Von D duos. She discontinued these pretty quickly after putting them out because they're just not fantastic. This one is in Bonnie and Clyde. I kept it because it's this really cool purple color. The pinky shade doesn't show up on me, so it really is irrelevant. But these are so hard to pick up color on. This one is in Piaf and Poe. This one I bought full price. The other ones I found at TJ Maxx. They're just dry and pretty awful. They don't have pigmentation on them. So I think I will probably be unhauling these soon. I unhauled the rest of them. I had all of them at one point. Uh, but they're just powdery and not fantastic. This is this one I had to work really hard for, but it's just not a color I'm going to reach for. So those will probably all be getting unhauled at some point because I just don't like keeping ones I know I'm not going to use or I don't like around. I have never gone wrong with one from the Balm. The Balm has great blushes in general. They're, they are by far my favorite formulation aside from also Becca. So if you're looking for any great blushes, those are my stars and strikes. Again, be sure to check out down below for everybody else that is taking part in this collab. I will also have all of the dates and themes for this series down below so that if you want to join up, you know exactly what category we're doing on which date and you can join in with us. I hope that you will. Those have been my stars and strikes blushes for this week. I hope to hear you down in the comments letting me know some of your stars and strikes. I look forward to hearing them. That's everything, guys, for this edition of Stars and Strikes. Thank you again to everybody who has jumped on board with this collab. If you like this video, give me a big ol' thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>